In this demonstration, you will see how to create a job stream using Tivoli Workload Scheduler. The Customer Relationship Management Unit sends monthly reports to upper management. These reports must contain information about the number of daily incoming tickets, the average resolution rate, and the current status of active tickets. These statistics must be extracted from the database and subsequently consolidated into a formatted report which is sent to management at the end of each month. This activity can be scheduled and automated by creating a job stream containing three jobs. We expand the Tivoli Workload Scheduler portfolio. To open the Workload Designer, we click Workload, Design, and Create Workload Definitions. Here we specify the engine where Tivoli Workload Scheduler is installed and click Go. The Workload Designer opens in a new window. Here we can create, edit, and delete jobs, job streams, and other definitions in the database. To create a new job stream, we open the new menu and select Job Stream. The new object opens. The red icon in the tab means that some required properties have not yet been specified. Here we specify the names of the job stream and the workstation on which it will run. This information is mandatory. To find the correct workstation that we want to associate with our job stream, we open the search panel. Here we enter part of the name to search amongst the workstations already defined in the database. Now we'll enter a brief description of the new job stream. The job stream collects statistical data and sends monthly reports to the central office. Now we want to create a calendar to specify the days when our job stream must not run. We create a non-working days calendar and associate it to our job stream. To do so, we open the new menu and select Calendar. Here we give a name to our calendar. We click this icon to select the days we want to include in the calendar. We select the day of the month during which the job stream must not run. We do not want the database to be queried on the 27th of the month because that day is dedicated to data backup. We specify the start and end dates of the calendar. We can now save the new calendar. Now we have to associate our job stream to the new calendar. Therefore, we open the calendar icon from the job stream properties. We specify a validity period for the job stream. We want the job stream period to be valid starting from January 2009. Therefore, we select the year 2009 and the first day of January. Then we scroll down the Scheduling Options tab to associate the job stream to the calendar that we previously defined based on our company's needs. We now associate a non-working days calendar to our job stream. We open the search panel to find the calendar we need. According to our calendar, the 27th of the month is to be considered a non-working day because we do not want the job stream to run on this day. We enter the calendar name. Wildcards are supported. We select the required calendar and click OK. We have created our job stream and we can now save it in the database. Monthly underscore rep 
is the container of our tasks. We will associate it to scheduling rules and timings, but it is useless until we add specific job definitions to it. To do this, we right-click the job stream name. We add the three jobs that actually perform the data collection, processing, and transmission to monthly underscore rep. In the search panel, we enter part of the job's names, then we select the jobs and click Add. We added three jobs, but are we sure that they have the characteristics that we need? To make sure they are what we actually expect, we can view their properties by opening the corresponding job definitions in the database. As we can see from the job definition, this is exactly the job we wanted to add. Now that we have completed our job stream, we can save it. In this scenario, we have seen how we can create a job stream, associate it to a customized calendar to prevent it from running on specific days, add multiple jobs to it, and view the corresponding job definitions.